Hi there everyone, how's it going? And today I'm going to be showing you another quick tip in Windows 8, and that's the keyboard shortcuts that I use every day. So first off, we have the Windows key. So the Windows key is going to be main one, the main key that I'm going to be using to show you all what keyboard shortcuts that I use. So down on your keyboard, next to the Control and Alt key, there'll be a little Windows key. And if you press that once, it'll bring you to the Start screen. Or it'll open the Start menu, depending on what version of Windows you're running. Next up is when, you ha when you're in an application, say if I open up uh, you'll see media player here and it'll take a while to open up. Oh. Okay, so if I open up a window, a window of Firefox here, if I press Windows key and D, it brings me straight back to the desktop. If I want to quickly get back to that application or see what app other apps are running, I press the Windows key and tab, if you know what I, mean, I press Alt and tab and that can thumb through all the things that I am have running. Say for Windows 8's sake, um, I'm running a Metro app, so if I go to the start screen and go to games, now I can press the Windows key and tab. That'll bring up a little menu on the side here that I can swap back to the desktop quite easily just by releasing. So once again, Windows key and tab brings up a nice little preview. I can go to the start screen down the bottom here, or I can go to the uh, recent Metro app that's been running. So Metro, Desktop, Metro, Desktop. You can also get to that by hovering over the top and the little, little little window will appear and you can click there. Also for anyone who thinks the start the little start button is gone, you're wrong, sorry, but um, it's right down here in the corner here. See? Right just very in the corner there. Again back to the, co back to the keyboard shortcuts. If you press the Windows key and I, it brings up the, your settings information panel where you can go to your control panel, you can go to personalize, you can go to PC info, you can get access to your power settings to turn the computer on and off, change your volume, change your screen brightness if your display supports it, the keyboard and the main PC settings. Last one I want to show you is, well, of course, Alt F4, we all know that. The, when you're in an application, you can go ahead and close it. So Alt F4, it quits out of the application. Um, Windows key M minimizes the application, so it brings it down to the, the, the start bar down here. Um, yeah, Windows key and P. Windows key and P is an essential if you're using multiple monitors. So here I can, uh, if you say if I'm using a projector on my laptop, I can press Windows key P, and I can change whether I want to duplicate what's on my original screen, so it's on the laptop screen, and place it up on the projector. I can extend my desktop so I can have a window here and drag it over to the other projector and I can still uh, view all my email so again Windows key Windows key and P or I can say second screen only so the second screen becomes the main computer screen that's if you're using a laptop and you connect it up to a second monitor and you just want that monitor to be active that is basically all the ones that I use every day there are of course a lot more Windows key and C is another one that I just remembered to get to the charms bar in Windows 8. Um, I don't think it does anything in Windows 7, I'll have to check that out. But anyway, this has been a quick overview of what keyboard shortcuts that I use frequently. And just to finish off, Windows key and L locks the computer. So if you're ready to walk off, you can press Windows key and L, and it locks the computer. Let's go ahead and log back in here. Get a nice welcome screen, and then back. Oh, oh. My password was wrong then. Um, anyway, that locks the computer, and it stops anyone from gaining access to it. So that's all the basic tips that I wanted to show to you today. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you remember some of them. Um, if you want a full, more detailed and detailed look, please comment below, and don't forget to check out my website at www.toddstechtips.com. And don't forget to check out my all, my other website that's being created on pickagenius.com. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.